it's Alaska Granny. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your gas grill into a smoker. Do you realize the key problem or challenge of making a, a gas grill into a smoker is temperature. You need to be sure you can get the temperature low enough because it's critical if you're going to cook something like a pork shoulder, pork ribs, or a brisket, the temperature needs to be at 225 degrees or lower. So there are three things that I have figured out how to do that. I travel lots of times, I've used lots of gas grills, and I have been able to get this technique to work on every gas grill that I've ever tried. It's great. You need an aluminum pie pan, you need a pan you don't care that much about that's a metal pan for a water dish, and your favorite wood chips and meat. Let me show you how it works. The first thing you want to do is set up your grill so that it's ready to be used as a smoker. So you want to open the lid, of course, then you want to remove the grates. Just set them aside. And then every barbecue is a little bit different. This one has this kind of a unit that's a heat distribution cover over the actual gas grill part. So just set that aside. This uh, barbecue has three burners that go side to side. Some of them go front to back, so depending on what your barbecue, the, uh, the way it's set up, this will still work. But pay attention to, is it three burners this way or three burners running this way when you want to set up your smoker. Now we're going to configure the grill as a smoker. We want to use indirect heat so there are three burners. We're only going to have one burner going at one end and it's going to be on the lowest temperature, the very lowest setting that you can get. And then the meat will be cooked on the other side away from the heat source. And then in between you will put your chips next to the heating element and then you'll put your tray of water in the middle and then your grill rack will go back on this side and that's the side that you will cook your meat. And having the water in there, the water um, absorbs some of the heat and it allows the temperature to be kept down, which is what the most important key problem is, and it will make this system be successful. So the first thing I want to do is put in my tray that's going to hold the water. So this is the only burner that's going to be lit and that's where the chips will go. So the water tray will go over here and this is the side where the meat will be cooked. And once again, the water will help absorb some of the heat to keep it low enough so that my meat will smoke without drying out or burning. So I put my tray in there. Make sure it's a tray. You don't care what happens to it. Fill it up with water and now you're ready to place your chips and light your grill. Now I want to light my barbecue. So first make sure your tank is on, then you want to just go to the one side that you're going to use and light it. Then you want to turn it down to the lowest setting that it'll go, but that's not low enough. So now you want to go to your tank and you want to crank it down to just about off and then crank it back a quarter of a turn so that you choke down the propane and you're thus keeping the burner on as low as it can go. And then you want to make sure that you didn't choke it so low that the burner went off. You want to check and make sure that it's still lit. Now I'm going to place my disposable aluminum pan right into the burner that's on but to the lowest temperature and that's going to hold my wood chips. A disposable aluminum pan works way better than say packets of foil because you can add and re more chips, you can remove burned up chips, and it's easy to move around to set and discard without it disintegrating or spilling and making a huge mess. Put it over your burner that's just barely on, and you can see how sturdy that is, and then you just add your chips. then I can easily add more during the smoking process and all of this is going to keep the heat from burning the meat. Now I'm going to place my rack just on this side and this is the indirect heat and this is the only place that I'm going to cook my meat. 
So then the chips and the moisture will keep the temperature low and put the smoke on the meat so that it's just delicious. Now I'm going to close the lid. I'm going to wait about 15 minutes for it to come up to temperature and then I'm going to have the perfect environment for cooking a pork shoulder, ribs, or a brisket. It's going to be perfect because the chips and the moisture are going to absorb the temperature, they're going to keep the smoke in there, and they're going to allow my meat to be perfectly done and delicious. If you have any tips for how you use a gas grill for a smoker, please leave a message in the comments below. And if you like what you've seen, please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel and have a wonderful day.